Our strategy is really about um, bringing kind of the benefits of, you know, and the core competencies that Akamai had in the CDN and security space and bringing some of those best lessons learned into the public cloud uh, arena. Hi, this is your Sapni Bhartia and we are here at KubeCon Chicago and today we have with us Zach Putnam, Senior Director of Business Development at Akamai. Zach, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, great to be here. Thanks, Bob. It's my pleasure to host you here. Uh, of course, we are here at KubeCon. Just, just, just talk about the vibe, the experience that you've seen here at the event. It's great energy. This is, so honestly, this is my first KubeCon. So uh, cutting my teeth here in Chicago, uh, very exciting. A lot of really cool, innovative technologies and new brands, um, really pushing forward kind of what's happening in the cloud space and cloud natives uh, specifically. So yeah, it's been great. Uh, very interesting learning experience for me, um, kind of new to the cloud space. So this has uh, been a great show so far. Uh, been a couple good days and looking forward to the rest of the show. What role do you see of Akamai in this cloud, cloud native ecosystem? I think Akamai has a really unique uh, role to play potentially. You know, I mean, after the acquisition of Linode, you know, Linode's ethos was really around, you know, the openness of the platform, really leaning into the cloud native kind of like uh, world. Open source is key in terms of the overall portability of applications, you know, reducing the amount of vendor lock-in on the platform. And so, you know, at Akamai now, we're taking that ethos and kind of running forward with it, trying to make sure that, you know, that is ingrained in everything that we do uh, moving forward. And so it's great to be a part of this kind of community. And I think Akamai is, is going to be an incredible steward of you know that original like ethos that the Linode brand had built, uh, and really kind of like bringing that forward into like what we're doing at Akamai over the next you know decade in the cloud computing space. And then we look at all these companies here, all the vendors, which is it's, it's an ecosystem. It's a very you know uh, homogeneous ecosystem. Uh, it's it's all about you know collaboration partnership, you know, of course competition is also there, but the same competitors also contribute to the same code base. Yeah. So, so talk about how do you see this whole ecosystem from the lens of partnerships? I mean, partnerships just at a foundational level at Akamai is extremely important to us in our overall strategy uh, and how we see kind of ourselves playing in this market over the next decade or so. Um, being a part of the ecosystem is extremely important. We lean into the developer community, into the open source community as much as we can. Um, you know, we have a marketplace uh, on the Leno platform already. We really lean into kind of like bringing in new, innovative, interesting open source technology to really give developers kind of the greatest tools to solve their biggest challenges and do that in a very effective and efficient way inside of the Akamai Compute platform. Um, so that's an extremely important piece to us. And I think that wider ecosystem that we're trying to build too, you know, we're talking about not just the technology partner and ISV-like category, but also you know, our channel partners, the MSPs, the SIs that kind of can pull um, all of these kind of core components together to solve some really important challenges for our customers. And so I think that's also really, really important to understand that like all of these things need to work together in a collaborative, kind of cohesive way. We, whether that's the bare foundational IS platform and the services that we're offering, like our LKE services, um, we want to make sure that those are ingrained and you know interoperable with all the best technologies out there. And we want to build this very vibrant partner ecosystem on top of that. If you can just give us a kind of glimpse of what does your cloud strategy partner strategy looks like. So again, at Akamai, we always say, you always have to put an adjective in front of partners, right? So there's lots of different definitions. And so my group specifically is focused on kind of the ISV or technology partner category. But we also, as I said before, you know, have other people focused on building out the SIs, MSPs, and the channel go to market function as well. Um, and so, you know, for us, it's really important to get it right but it's also like the focus that we have right now in the partner ecosystem is finding really compelling, better together stories, right? Akamai has a unique vision of where we're going in terms of our cloud strategy. You know, highly distributed, um, really easy to use, great customer service. And so building better together stories with our ISV and technology partners is extremely important for us. How do we find the right partners, pull them into the ecosystem that we have to tell 
and help advance our, you know, this distributed edge platform story. You know, we know that it's a differentiator for us in the future. So we need our partners to help accentuate and accelerate the adoption of that differentiation we're bringing because we're doing something new and you know, that people haven't been able to do before. So developers need the tools to be able to take advantage of kind of the innovation that we're bringing to the market. You briefly talked about cloud strategy. Akamai predates all these cloud movements. You mentioned Linode, which predates AWS, which triggered the whole you know, public cloud. You know. What is your cloud strategy? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, you know, our strategy is really about um, bringing kind of the benefits of, you know, and the core competencies that Akamai had in the CDN and security space and bringing some of those best lessons learned into the public cloud uh, arena. And so, you know, as I mentioned before, it's really about that distributed edge, right? Like taking advantage of Akamai's edge pop locations. We're in 4,100 locations across the globe today. Being able to push compute into those locations closer to end users and doing that in a really scalable and kind of unique and efficient way, right? We're still going to have that cost effective, very uh, secure, you know, IaaS layer. We're going to build that out as best as we possibly can, but keep adding additional components on top of that, built on our network backbone for high performance and networking. You know, bringing CDN economics into the data egress charges that you know have become kind of a pain point in the industry, and so our strategy really is to take advantage of the best of the things that we've built at Akamai and applying them to the public cloud space and the infrastructure as a service space. Doing it in a way that is going to be compelling for our customers and our partners as well is like extremely important. We kind of live in a data-centric world, data-driven world, you know, nothing else, everything is data. Uh, the challenge is that where the data resides, cloud is far from users. Can you talk about what do you see when it comes to the cloud strategy going back to bringing data closer to users, yeah. the whole role of edge computing, the whole role of distributed computing? You're right. Data is absolutely crucial to kind of like, you know, our strategy in the long run too. Like again, moving that data closer to the end users, closer to the eyeballs, reducing the latency of going home all the way back to an origin, but moving some of that decisioning, whether that's personalization, you know, so you click on your HBO Max and it's your screen, it's your recommendations, moving some of that logic out to the edge and you know, really includes uh, better, you know, and better performance, reduces latency, et cetera. So some of our early partners that we have in my program, we call the Qualified Computing Partner Program, are two distributed database uh, companies. So Macro Meta, which actually built their business on the Lenovo platform even before the Akamai acquisition, has really been a, a very interesting use case for us you know, moving a lot of that data out into the edge locations, into regions where, you know, you can't find kind of like a hyperscaler-like presence. Um, and then that will be even amplified when we get our edge pop locations up and running. Um, again, further into kind of like those eyeball networks, closer to end users. It's just going to continually like reduce that latency, accelerate innovation kind of at the edge, but data is going to play a massively crucial part of like how Akamai differentiates in the near and the long term, I think. Talk about the importance of partnership uh, enablement so that co countries, companies can uh, not only like some regulations, GDPR is there, California has their own laws, and other countries are also forcing that. Talk about that. The differentiation that our network potentially brings over time. Yeah, over time. The differentiation that our network brings over time does open up new use cases for data sovereignty specifically, right? So whether that's country or even state level in the US with things like sports betting, right? Like you can't move data in and out of like New Jersey, uh, for instance, you know, that's certainly like the goal. And so working with our partners in the data space, taking advantage of the unique locations that we have um, will provide kind of like new opportunities to innovate uh, around like having data run very, very locally to your end users and to meet like those federal or state or geography based kind of like regulations. I mean, of course, you know, you talk to companies, every company says they know partnership is important to us, you know, but if you look at Akamai, what is unique about partnership? Now, let's not look at partnership from Akamai's perspective, but from the partner's perspective. Yeah. Yeah, good question. 
I, yeah, so what we've seen in early conversations with a lot of partners is that it, there's two levels to it. One is kind of the uniqueness of like Akamai's general offering, right? That is a compelling vision that we're putting out into the market. The distributed nature of the platform, ultra low latency, getting things out to the edge, that opens up a lot of opportunities for very innovative companies that are looking to do something new. So that's one. The other underlying part there is just the foundational pieces that we have in place. So that's, you know, great customer service. We have, you know, cost effective infrastructure that's easy to use. And then the other things that our program adds on top of that is, you know, in the Qualified Computing Partner Program specifically, what we do is, you know, we qualify an ISV to run on our platform. We provide hands-on expertise from our technical experts. We give them access to that. Once that process is done, then we are taking their technologies, wrapping it up in a better together story, and we're training and enabling our sales teams, which are hungry to go find new compute opportunities and workloads at Akamai's existing customer base and new ones. And we're bringing our partners into that sell through motion through the Akamai Salesforce, which is extremely compelling to a lot of ISVs that we're working with right now. Um, it's a level of hands-on um, kind of partnership that you know, I think they're looking for and they're not necessarily getting out in the market today. And I think it's a unique differentiator that our programs can bring to our partners. I also want to look at some of the emerging cases, the use cases, of course, you know, generative AI is there. Of course, EVs are becoming big, you know, so uh, what does it mean for Akamai's the whole partner strategy because these, in, these emerging use cases are coming up and they do need help. There's different ways that we can cut this, right? We have uh, a product strategy to meet certain requirements, whether that's the underlying um, like, like GPU capacity or new CPU like uh, SKUs that we can bring to market to meet s some of that demand specifically for like generative AI um, or some of the IoT use cases at the edge. Um, what we're really doing is like focus on the infrastructure and using our partner ecosystem to build the SaaS and PaaS capabilities on top of that. And so AI, ML, are huge areas of focus for us. Um, again, trying to find that like one plus one equals three equation with the partners that we can bring into the platform. Again, how is that differentiated distributed platform that we're building? How can that enable more use cases to solve more complex conversations and, and opportunities and use cases? So IoT, connected cars, EVs, um, you know, there's place for distributed database there. There's uh, message brokering. Um, the complexities of observability and data and sovereignty, all those things come into play. Uh, and so massive opportunities for Akamai and our partner ecosystem to help solve some of the most complex, challenging new use case. And again, you walk around the show and you see all the amazing things that people are doing. I think the sky's the limit in terms of, you know, taking their capabilities, putting on top of our platform to solve some of those really interesting uh, use cases that we we're seeing. Zach, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about the importance of partner and also looking at it from the partner's length, the whole cloud native strategy. Thanks for all those insights and I would love to chat with you again. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for the time.